Oh, let's continue. Now, why do we have to look at delivery cycle time, throughput time, and manufacturing cycle efficiency? This is to lessen waste. Waste in terms of uh, the utilization of our assets such as um, equipment, your materials, parts, and working time. Okay, so yung paggamit niyo nito, equipment uli, ano pa? Materials and your working time. Why? Because you would like to have lean production. And, and when you look at lean production, you are looking at value added and non-value added activities. Diba? And uh, ano ang gusto natin? The value adding activities, we would like to uh, maximize this one. No? Then, uh, pag non-value added, dalawa kasi yan class. One that uh, can contribute no? to the... Yung kahit pa paano ba ay uh, meron siyang... Uh, contribution to the product and the other one would be oh, it's it's uh, obviously uh, obviously a waste no so tingnan natin paano ang ginagawa diyan pag uh, uh, ang inyong value added ay uh, kasi may tinatawag na essential eh no essential non value added ito i-minimize mo lang to Ano mga sample ng essential? Moving, yung waiting, no? Yan, mga, mga essential yon. Uh, then, um, ito yung dapat i-eliminate natin. Okay? Yung uh, pagdating sa, sa waste. Okay? Sa non, so dalawa yung non-value added. So, alin ang i-optimize natin? The value added. Alin ang i-minimize natin? The essential non-value added. And i-eliminate natin yung um, non-essential. Okay? Na? Because it is a waste. Okay? With your uh, non-value added. In a lean production uh, system. Okay? Ma'am, ano pa kasi yung mga sample ng mga waste? Mga defects sa inventory, mga yung uh, uh, overprocessing or uh, transportation or overproduction. Ang term ko lang doon, waste, but actually it's more, ang, ang mas ginagamit yan, non-value added activities. Kasi syempre, pag ginamit mo yung salitang waste, iba na thing, diba? O, yan. Now, uh, it is crucial for you to take a look at this diagram kasi for your uh, computation of the throughput time, the, the delivery cycle time, and the efficiency, you know, the manufacturing cycle efficiency. And, and why do we need to compute for all of this, especially the throughput time? Because this is an indicator of the organization's ability to convert the asset into profit. So, yung asset mo, magiging profit yan. No? At yung Inventory mo, magiging product. Okay? At yung iyong nasa supply chain ay convert into cash flow. Siyempre, hindi lang naman class, hindi ka naman magkakaroon ng profit kung walang product. At uh, hindi ka naman magkakaroon ng cash flow kung hindi mo siya maibibenta. Okay? At makokolekta. Okay? So, make sure that uh, you know the relationship of the delivery cycle time and the throughput time. Okay? Yung, yung throughput time kasi, ano ba siya? Ano yung throughput time? It is the actual time taken for the, manu the, the product to be manufactured. E paano yung, paano yung cycle time? Mas mahaba to syempre, tingnan nyo naman dun sa diagram o. Kasi buhat sa pag-order ng materyales hanggang sa mai, maibenta mo siya. ba? 
yun. Dahil, uh, importante kasi na alam nyo yung kaibahan ng cycle time sa throughput time. Okay? Basta pag throughput time lang yung kailangan na yung, yung, yung oras para ma, ma, maproseso siya sa manufacturing. Diba? Ayun eh, production started, good ship. So, ito about uh, passing through the manufacturing process. Samantalang yung delivery cycle time, eh, buhat nung, nung nag-umpisa siya. Diba? Uh, the proportion of the production, uh, looking at the value added and the non-value added uh, activities. Okay? So, let's take a look at the computation. Kita nyo yung manufacturing cycle efficiency class. It only considers, kasi efficiency eh, o di yun na lang value added. And it is the process time. Diba? At yung inyong manufacturing cycle time, ano na uli yung manufacturing cycle time natin? It is the time it takes to complete a specific task from start to finish. Okay? From ordering to your uh, shipping. Okay? Oh, let's have a sample. Oh, dito, throughput time. Paano nakocompute yung throughput time? Ano na yung formula natin ng throughput time? Anyone? Oh, naisip mo na. Ano yung formula ng throughput time? Oh, yan. Dahil naisip mo na, um, then, ba, kukuhanin lang natin yung sa process? O, oh, tingnan nyo, o. Oh. Buhat nung, kasi pag throughput, ano? Manufacturing process. Kukuhanin mo na lahat. Kasi pag, pag may dinagdaga mo ng efficiency, kukunin mo na lang yung nasa process. So, pag throughput time, yung kabuang panahon na ginamit para ma produce siya or from the from measured from the physical starting point ng manufacturing process hanggang physical ending point and it is uh, 10.4 days okay eh paano naman pag manufacturing cycle di syempre process lang kukuhanin niyo kasi siya lang yung value added time dito yung inspection yung move yung waiting, di ba lahat yan nan value adding activity yung k yung sa yung sa queen nyo, na ba? Mm. so clear yon, no? ito lang yung value adding activity pag manufacturing cycle efficiency, o na intindihan ano yung manufacturing cycle efficiency? that is the production time spent for value added activities, okay? So, eh, ang ginagamit natin dyan, yung total time spent on the production process, which we call throughput time. And then, delivery cycle time. Ano yung delivery cycle time natin? Saan nag-uumpisa? Buhat sa ordering, di ba? Mm. So, kasama dun yung, bakit wait time? Eh, kasi dun sa diagram natin, di ba? Yun yung, yung pag-order, tapos, doon sa natanggap mo yung natanggap mo yung materyales para sa start ng production kasi ito yung sa production o sa manufacturing ito yung doon sa time na nag-order ka yan yung buong time and it is 13.4 days okay now let's go now to the balance scorecard how are we going to uh, construct dito anong sabi we have to know the different perspective financial, internal business process, customer, learning, and growth. No? That influence the performance of, or that affects the performance. No? So, paano daw? We have to know our financial goals. We have to know uh, what customers' needs are. And we have to look at the processes in order for us to provide value to customers. And it starts with the vision and the strategy. Okay? And uh, so, uh, we have to look at, uh, tingnan yung diagram class, oh. buhat sa, mag-uumpisa sa learning and growth, ang end ay sa financial. Why? 
Because people has to perform. They were sila yung doer eh. You have to to you have to act here. And when you are performing, when you are doing your tasks, then you need to follow what are the processes, no? Uh, specified by standard operating procedure by the firm in order for you to provide the product or services to the customer which would conver- would be converted to syempre uh, cash flow uh, profit kaya financial no it won't start with financial that's already the end no it will start with learning and growth kaya you have also learning curve diba in uh, in your managerial accounting to learn. No? Why? Because it would assess the level of effectiveness and efficiency of those performing the tasks in your internal business processes. So, ano yung mga gagamitin natin na financial measures? You have uh, ratios. That's one that you're familiar with. Uh, now, we have already residual income. Uh, and non-financial measures, these are, you can take a look at, uh, let's say, number of um, orders processed, number of invoices uh, approved. O, yun yung mga non-financial. And we have to look at uh, who will be responsible no, with the financial measures and the non-financial measures. What is most crucial here is it is well communicated to the low-level managers uh, and the top managers n- need to know what to expect. Diba? And anong sabi dito? The balance scorecard should also look into the overall organization and... Uh, uh, at the same time, we have to look at the individual because they sh- should know which of the performance indicator they would be affected and they would be measured. Okay? So there should always be a link no? between uh, your action. I mean, anak, uh, it is expectation versus reality the expectation will be the kpi reality will be uh, the actions that the managers would actually be performing and the other personnel okay why cause and effect because uh, you're the one who set the performance measure and the thinking there is that's what you are desiring that it had been uh, at your end this this had been accepted already no so, uh, that's why it is a motivational factor because incentive is normally linked to the balance scorecard performance measure. Uh, take a look at the sample. Now, uh, in this case, uh, we have the car Jaguar. The, we're looking at the skill of the employee in uh, installing. Then, uh, we look at the time to install and the number of options available. For the internal business processes, uh, are the customers satisfied with the options given to them? How many cars had been sold? And we we'll look at the profit, uh, the contribution margin. No, that's why you are also looking at the break-even analysis. And if we're going to uh, look at the indicators, ano daw yan? Uh, the time should decrease, satisfaction should increase, no? This is with regards to the output. And what are your strategies you need to, uh, the employees should hone their skills. They have to be able to have a better uh, capacity, no? And more option is better, diba? Then, because of that, you'll be able to sell more cars and it would increase your income. Okay? So, 
uh, more of a discussion on the balance scorecard. Uh, thank you uh, for listening. If you have any question, feel free to ask. Good day.